we want to split all these numbers into a single column. 173, there it is. 343, listed right there. In Microsoft 365 Excel, we use the mid function to extract text from within a larger text string. We need all of these items concatenated together, so we use concat, close, comma, and the starting number, well, somehow we have to count all the digits and then get a sequence from one to whatever number of digits there are. That way we have all the starting numbers right in start number. So we use sequence. That generates a sequence of numbers. And for rows, we're going to sum the length of all of these. Now, LEN will get 334. Some will add them together. Close, close. We could click rows, F9. And there it is, 10. Control Z. We don't need any of the other arguments because the default is to start at 1 and have an increment of 1. Start number F9, and that's exactly what we need to extract all 10 digits. Control Z, comma, and how many digits do we want each time? A single digit. Close, Control Enter, and bam, there it is in Microsoft 365 Excel. Now, as often is the case, it's much harder in earlier versions. For start number inside of mid, that's the construction we use instead of sequence. If I F9, I get the same 1 to 10. Control Z. We did not have concat back then, so we just joined them manually. And because we can't spill, we have to take this entire array that MID, that MID is creating, F9, and extract it one row at a time as we manually copy it down, Control-Z. So of course, for rows, we'll just have this number incrementer, which will count 1, 2, 3, and so on. Double click and send it down. And yes, we can do it the old school way and the new school way. Now here's your bonus. Notice these are aligned to the left, which means they're text. And anytime you use text functions like mid, left, right, they deliver text. But what if you want them as numbers? You can do any math operation on this that doesn't change the value, such as plus 0. Control Enter, and bam. Now we've extracted them not as text, but they're numbers.